to share with you my October favorites. I didn't do September favorites because I was traveling. So this is kind of a combined September with October. So let's get started. First, I want to talk about my new skincare. I'm using the Guerlain Orchid Imperial. Looks like this. Before anything, I just want to mention that this is a very good cream, but it's very, very expensive on the other hand. Uh, I used to have like a small sample like a month ago and I tried it. It's amazing. It works very good. It makes your skin so good, but it, it's very, very expensive. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get it later. So I wanted something to like renewal my skin before my wedding so when i was in london i went to the girl and counter and asked about this specific cream uh what's really good about this cream that it's a course you can use it for i think two or three months and you can get back to your normal moisturizer whatever you were using so it's like a treatment course so this is like an intense course for making your skin looking better so I wasn't really sure if I should get it or not, but lately I've been getting a lot of breakouts. I don't know it's, if it's because of the weather or I'm too stressed because of my wedding or I don't know. So I decided to splurge on this cream and try it and I've been using this for the past, let's see, three weeks and I've been loving it like no other. It's amazing. So it looks like this. When you open it, it comes with this um, gold paper I had it to show it to you and then it comes with a cap <laughs> and here's the cream as you can see I've used quite a lot of it I love it you use this in the morning and at night and it's a very very nice consistency I just love so it. So I'm gonna finish this and maybe I can give you a full review about it. Also I want to talk about the Guerlain Happy Logie Glowing Eye Cream Basically, this is an under eye eye cream. I got this because uh, I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and I'm pretty sure that I'm getting wrinkles very soon. So I'm trying to prevent my skin and this works very good. I can see difference. As I said, I've been using this course for the past three weeks, but I can see big difference under my eyes on my fine lines so we're gonna see how does that go next i want to talk about the super aqua lotion toner from guerlain i love toners i think they're very good because um when i take off my makeup at night then i clean my face with um my facial wash and my clarisonic after that when i clean it with a toner and a cotton i can still see a lot of uh, foundation and makeup still on my skin so i think it's very good to use a toner after you clean your face because it prevents you from applying your cream on dirty skin and i really really been enjoying this toner it's very nice and it smells so moving good. to makeup i've been loving my nyx rouge cream blush and this is in tea rose it's a very very neutral everyday color i have it today on but i have another blush on top of it which is the Lorac Exposed and this is a baked matte, baked matte satin blush looks like this, this is one of my favorite blushes on earth it's so so pigmented and it's very very shimmery and nice so this is a little swatch, I've been wearing this seriously every single day and I have it today on Next, I want to talk about the Benefit Powder Flash, and basically that's a powder to set your uh, concealer. It's translucent. It's kind of a pink color, but it doesn't show pink, it shows translucent. So what I do, I take a little bit on the cap, and then I use my 192, yeah, 192 brush from MAC, and I just go over my concealer to set it in. It gives like a bright effect i really really like this and ever since i got it i've been using it every single day next i want to talk about my new favorite foundation it's the ella Masca skin base foundation looks like this i got this when i was in london i love it i can't say enough about it it's very very nice and soft and the color is amazing my color is number 12 i'm wearing it today it's a little bit dark but as you know i like to make my color darker I like darker skin colors so it's very nice and the color is perfect and I, I didn't find any 
hard time with it. I just love it. It's amazing. I totally recommend you check it out. I have the old one, which is light as air foundation, but it's not as good as this one. This is super duper good. Next, I want to talk about this MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Compact Powder. And this is a new product. Uh, I had the loose uh, translucent powder from MAC and it worked amazing, but I prefer the compact. And it's basically a translucent powder or a finishing powder after you're done your makeup. Uh, you can set your makeup with this, like, with a big fluffy brush and it's very nice. I love this. Next, I want to talk about my new favorite bronzer, which is the NARS Casino bronzer. I got this recently also when I was in London. I didn't even know that they had a darker shade from the bronzer, which is Laguna. And I've been using Laguna for the past, I don't know, year or something. And this is Laguna and this is Casino. As you can see, Casino is way darker and it suits me perfectly. I love um, Laguna, but I think it's not the perfect color for me. Now I found the perfect shade. So if you have a darker um, skin color, if you have a dark skin color like mine, this would be amazing as a contour bronzer. And I'm wearing it today, if you can tell. I really, really like this and I really recommend you go check it out. It's amazing. Also from NARS, I want to talk about this duo eyeshadow and this is called All About Eve. I've been wearing this every day, uh, like one of these colors, all over my lid and some mascara and it's very, very nice for an everyday look. They're very, very soft and simple colors and easy colors to wear. Speaking of eyeshadow, I've been loving my feminine palette from Urban Decay and I love the packaging. It's so feminine. But specifically, these two colors are so nice and so everyday colors. And yeah, all of the colors are so nice. I've been wearing these two a lot lately. And this palette also comes with a zero pencil. So this is a very, very nice palette. Also, I've been enjoying my mineral eyeshadow from MAC. And this was from the Semi Precious collection. This one is called Mineral Mode. Looks like this. It's a very pretty, like collection of colors and I'm wearing it today I have a silver base under and it's such a pretty pretty shimmery colors and you can wear this wet or dry I have it today dry next I've been loving my Chanel mascara base beauty and basically that's a mascara primer you apply this uh, white mascara primer before your mascara and it's gonna prevent your lashes and I got this as a free uh, gift from Sephora, but I really, really like it. I've been wearing it like every single day and I think it makes my lashes look nicer and it doesn't make them look uh, clumpy or anything. Next, I want to talk about my NYX Matte Lipstick in Neutral. You don't understand how much I love this lipstick. It's so pretty. It's very, very neutral and it suits my skin color a lot. I've been wearing this seriously every single day. I have it on today without any gloss. I usually wear it with one of these glosses. I have this one from MAC. It's a cream sheen gloss and this is in right image, which I love. And it looks like this. Also, I have this NYX, um, what is that? It's a Mega Shine lip gloss and this is in light beige, but it's a pink, it's not beige at all and it's more pigmented than the MAC one. So this is this NYX one and this is the MAC one. I really like these two colors. And usually I wear um, this lipstick with one of this colors. So I've been enjoying this combo a lot and please go check this out because it's amazing. It lasts for the longest time ever. Also I want to talk about this Rivlon nail polish and this is in Facets of Yusha. I got this when I was in London. As you can see, it's like a chunk of purple, hot pink glitters. It's very, very, very pretty on the nails, but when, it, when it's time to take it off, it gave me a hard time taking this off. So I have kind of a love-hate relationship. I didn't apply it ever since I tried it the first but time. But I really, really like it. If you know any like tip or a trick, to take off your glitter nail polish, let me know because I have the hardest time ever to take off glitter, especially this My one. My last favorite would be perfumes. I have two perfumes for this month 
First, I have the Justin Bieber Someday perfume. It's a very nice, cute packaging, and it smells so good. It smells like Britney Spears fantasy. It's very sweet and yummy. And as you can see, I used a lot. I got this the first day I arrived in London because we don't have this perfume here in Egypt. And I've been wearing it ever since. I really, really like it. If you didn't smell this, go check it out because it's so yummy. And the next perfume I want to talk about, I, my mom got me this recently. It's the Elisa new perfume. I'm not sure what is it called, but I think it's called Elisa. It's a very nice perfume. Elisab is a designer, by the way. He's a Lebanese designer. Oh my god, it smells so good. I cannot describe it, but it smells so good. And it's so heavy and chic. I just love this. This is my new favorite. And as you can see, I still didn't use it yet. So last but not least, I have One Regret, which is the Maybelline Master Drama Eye Pencil in Midnight Master. I heard a lot of good stuff about this um, pencil and I really wanted to try it so I ordered it online and when I got it I was very very impressed but after I used it I was very very disappointed because I used it on my waterline and it make it made my eyes so blurry and I couldn't see literally I couldn't see but it, it didn't move I didn't touch it up or anything for like five or six hours but it was very hard for me to see I don't know if I have sensitive eyes but if you have the same problem with this, let me know because I was really, really disappointed because I heard it's amazing and I really wanted an eye pencil that lasts for the longest time on my waterline. And this one really lasted for seriously maybe five or six hours, but it really irritated my eyes and I was going like this all the time and I, I felt so weird on my eyes. So. That's a regret. So let me know what you think about this. So that's it for me today, girls. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.